Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about the generator effect. So in today's session, we're going to be talking about the generator effect. This is part of GCSE Physics, guys, so GCSE Physics. Okay, let's get straight into it. So before watching this video, make sure you've watched my motor effect video. You need to understand that principle before you do this one. So make sure you go and watch my motor effect video before doing this one. Okay, so we'll start off with the following. All right, so a quick recap before we start. So here, this is the motor effect. So in the motor effect, what did we have? We had a magnetic field, yeah? So we can see the magnetic field here given by these permanent magnets. So these are the permanent magnets. And we had a wire running through them. So we had a wire running through them. And obviously we can see that the wire is perpendicular to the field. So we have the wire which is perpendicular to the field. So have a look guys. Um, if we were to pass a current through that wire, now we have the current going through here. Can we see that? The current's going through there and it's perpendicular to the field. We notice that due to the motor effect, it will experience a force. So yes, this wire will experience a force like so. So in the motor effect, you pass current through a wire, you have a field, you generate a force. So the motor effect, you have current flowing through the wire, passing it within a field, you generate a force. So what exactly is the generator effect? Well, it's slightly different, but it's similar. Yeah, so slightly different, but similar. So the generator effect is the following. What happens now? So rather than, so we've swapped a couple of things in that diagram. Look carefully. So in the generator effect, guys, we are no longer pumping current through that wire. Instead, instead of the wire, can you see we've got a voltmeter? So we're no longer pumping current through it, okay? But look, we still have a field. We have a north here and a south, and we have a wire running through it, but there's no current. So there's no source of electricity in this wire. Have a look at the previous diagram. So the previous diagram looks like this. Yeah, we have a source of electricity over here. But in the, this diagram right now, we've replaced it with a voltmeter. So what's going to happen is right now in the generator effect, you are going to generate some voltage. You are going to generate some voltage. The way you can do it is the following. Well, simply we take the wire and if you were to move it within the field, so as such, so you are doing the moving now, so you are moving it. So you move the wire within the field. What's going to happen is, yes, the voltmeter will start to record a reading. Yes, so the voltmeter initially it wasn't, but now the voltmeter gets a reading. So when you physically take the wire and move it within the field, so you take the wire and move it within the field, what you notice is that is that voltage will be generated. So voltage will be generated here. Easy stuff. Okay, so this is the generator effect. You take the wire, you move it within the field, you now generate a voltage. So let's put it down, guys, in words. So what exactly is the generator effect? The generator effect, obviously, think about it. You are generating voltage. That's why it's called the generator effect. Okay, right, so let's put a couple of sentences down for our notes. So to summarize, when a wire moves within a magnetic field, a voltage is induced. So when a wire moves within a magnetic field, a voltage is induced. Guys, make sure we understand that key principle here. Voltage is induced. They love that phrase, voltage is induced, or inducing voltage here. And don't forget this term when you're describing it. Um, and the reason why is because, right, they love this term as well. As the wire moves within the field, we can say that it cuts the field lines. So it cuts the field lines, guys. It cuts the field lines. If you think about it, the field lines are going across. The wire's moving through it. You're cutting those field lines. You're cutting those field lines. And also, you can have the last point that the wire experiences a changing magnetic field. The wire experiences a changing magnetic field. All right. Okay. So that is the generator effect. We take the wire, we move it within the magnetic field. We notice that it cuts the field lines and therefore a voltage is induced. And we have another example of generator effect. It's this one. Okay, so the next example of the generator effect is the following. Let's say we have a bar magnet and we have a coil next to it. That coil, both ends of the coil are connected to a voltmeter. Right now we have the bar magnet north and south. Right now it's not moving, so the voltmeter reads zero. So the voltage on here is zero because it's not moving. But when we take that bar magnet and we move it into the coil, what's going to happen is a voltage will be induced. So when the bar magnet moves within the coil, a voltage will be induced. So that is going to be another example of the generator effect. Why? Because you are generating voltage. You are generating voltage. Okay, let's put down a couple of sentences to help us describe it. 
Right, so when a bar magnet moves into a coil, the coil experiences a changing magnetic field. This therefore causes a voltage to be induced. Once again, guys, we have that term voltage being induced. An important key point is going to be the bar magnet has to move into it. So it has to move into it. It can't just, just stay next to it. It has to be moving. So we need to experience a changing magnetic field. And the only way we're doing that is by having the bar magnet moving into it. Or obviously keep the bar magnet the same and then move the coil there as well. So that's also fine. Okay, so let's summarize some key points. Obviously, it's a tough part of the course, guys. So let's summarize some key points here. Right, so key point. A voltage is induced when a wire moves within a field, cutting magnetic field lines. Let's highlight some key terms here. So voltage is induced, and we're going to be cutting magnetic field lines. The wire must experience a changing magnetic field. So to induce voltage, you need to experience a changing magnetic field. And last of all, if the wire or bar magnet doesn't move, no voltage is induced. So if the wire or bar magnet doesn't move, no voltage is induced. Right, so recap from the start. The title is the generator effect. And I had a quick recap of the motor effect. When I pass current through a field, we know it gets a force. But now look, guys, we are if we take that wire and we provide the force, we move it within the field, we know we generate a voltage. So we generate a voltage here. This is the generator effect. So when you move the wire within a field, it generates a voltage. Scrolling down, I then described it. And then I gave you another example, which was going to be when you take a bar magnet and you move it within a coil, it would generate a voltage. You can check this all out, guys. Loads of videos on YouTube and just you can Google it. You can find out simulations to help show you as well. Scrolling down, I outlined some key points. The key points, a voltage is induced when a wire moves within a field. The wire must experience a changing magnetic field. If the wire or bar magnet doesn't move, no voltage will be induced. And that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. I shall see you next time for more cool physics. If you have any queries, comment below and therefore I can get back to you and hopefully solve all of them. But like and subscribe and ciao ciao, goodbye and generate some good learning. Goodbye.